All right, so this is day six. I didn't get too much done today because uh, I had a lot of editing to do as well as going to the dentist and calling the insurance company. But I did figure out one thing, which was how to get the box style documentary highlighting, the yellow highlight of text in After Effects. So today is just going to be a little short tutorial and uh, we'll just dive into it right now. Here is the highlighting effect. Boom, boom, boom. Pretty simple. You've seen it in a lot of new segments or YouTube videos and that sort of thing. And there's two ways of doing it that I've figured out. One is using a shape layer and two is using a solid layer. Using the shape layer, you basically create a rectangle and you fill it with yellow. Using the solid layer, you uh, generate strokes and then you create your highlight by drawing out a line. Uh, both ways are fairly easy. I think with the solids layer version, you can kind of get more of a jagged line, uh, which resembles a bit more like a real highlighter. So it really depends on the look that you're going for. So to start off, you get uh, just any sort of image with text on it that you want to highlight. This one is uh, pulled off of Google Books from the Tao Te Ching. It's chapter three. It's got some pretty interesting quotes on here, so I kind of went with that. Um, to create the highlights, we're going to start with the shape layer version. So obviously you go create a new layer, then you create a new shape layer. From here, the uh, this rectangle tool is generally automatically selected, and so you can just draw out the rectangle that you want over here. For some reason, my rectangles default to a uh, lower opacity, possibly from just kind of uh, something that I've been doing in the past, but typically you'll see something more like this which is 100% opacity, so you just essentially have a yellow rectangle. That doesn't really help us, but the trick here is to switch to your blending mode, which is toggle down here, and switch that shape layer to multiply. And there you go. The black text shows right through just because of the way that how that blending layer works. And then you can add additional rectangles or whatever to this shape to the same shape layer. Like we can do that as well. So let's say we want to animate the first rectangle. So pop that down. Head over to the transform rectangle. And the first thing we want to do is to set the position of that shape. So we select that rectangle and select this pan behind tool here. We can grab this sort of pivot point and drag it to the end here. Or sorry, this anchor point. So we want the anchor point towards the end. And then what we want to do is unclick this scale proportions so that it does not constrain uh, X and Y proportions. We'll move our header, let's just say to the beginning here. Click on scale, this little timer to create a keyframe. And then we'll just make that zero so we don't see that. Then we'll move up a couple of frames, let's say 12 frames. And we will change that to 100%. So when you play back, you get that highlight right there. All right, so now we're going to try it with the, uh, the other version, which is the solid layer way of doing this. So of course, we're going to create, well, let's just actually hide our previous shape layer. Nothing's confusing. So we create a new solids layer and you should just choose the color that you want your highlighter to be. We're going to go with yellow here, hit OK. And as you can see, you just have a giant yellow box, which is not terribly helpful. But what we can do is to go into effects, generate stroke, 
And then here we'll flip to reveal original image. And now that uh, yellow square is gone, and then we can start drawing uh, where we want to highlight. So let's say we want to highlight this text over here. And just draw it out, make it a little bit jagged so it looks a bit more like an actual uh, handwritten highlight, if you like. And then we flip the path mode over to mask one, which is our stroke over here. And we can change the brush size so that it looks more like a highlighter. Let's say about here. And you can always adjust these points um, as you need to. And then from there, we do the same thing. Flip it over to multiply mode, blending mode. And here you go. You've got a highlight here. In order to animate this highlight, we will just move our playhead, make sure it's at where we want it to start. And we'll set a keyframe on end here for the stroke end. And we'll set that to zero percentage. Move up a couple of frames, 12 again. And then for the end, we'll put it back to 100%. And so now when you play it, it extends the end percentage to 100%, so you get your full stroke there. All right, so I'm just gonna show the other layer just so we can see both of these in action. Moving the playhead just in the beginning here. And there you go. As you can see, they're fairly similar effects. Um, I mean, depending on what you're going for, if you need more of a natural kind of hand-drawn highlighter, you can go with the solids layer version. Otherwise, using the shape layer is uh, super easy. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, it took me a little bit of time to figure that out, reviewing kind of how blending modes work again. Um, but I really just didn't want to buy some sort of template pack so I can do something really simple. And I'm glad I finally figured it out and hopefully uh, this benefits you as well. Thanks.